Hello Dollar Tree friends, it is Mickey B and I'm back with some more Dollar Tree gift ideas. We're going to start it off with gift number one for the natural hair person in your life. I forgot about you guys last year, so this year I'm starting off with you and I'm starting off with this gift basket or gift arrangement that starts with a lovely tray um, so that you can use to entertain with. And then we threw in a towel and some shower caps because you have to wash your hair on a regular. You got to have those clips to hold your hair back. Then we got the spoon or the spoon, the comb set with the wide tooth comb. And then I think there's a rat tail comb in there for parting. We threw in some rollers. And don't forget that nice hair massager over there. That thing feels amazing. You need a detangler so you're not ripping your hair out. And of course, a water bottle um, so that you can keep your hair moisturized regularly, if not every day, every other day. And then we threw in some hairpins because you know if you're a natural hair girl, you have to have some hairpins. That's how you get your hairstyles all cute and t uh, pinned up and looking wonderful. And last but not least, we threw in some uh, clasp-free uh, hair bands, hair rubber bands. And then you top it all off with a nice bowl. Now this bowl can be a gift, I mean an ornament, or it could be something that you already have. But I just threw it on there so you can get an idea of if you sit something on the tray and you wrap it up in cellophane, it, it brings the whole thing together and brings in the festivity with the, the bell or the little mitten or that ribbon. And look at how nice that looks wrapped up in some cellophane. Lovely. Okay, gift number two, the sous chef or veggie prepper in your life. We're going to start off with a bowl. And then on top of the bowl, we're going to add in this colander for washing and cleaning everything that they've just cut up for you. Here's a little mini chopping cutting board um, for cutting up and preparing all those vegetables. And you know that's an essential anytime you're going to be cooking food. So we've got the nice knife there to help you cut the vegetables as well as scissors. Scissors come in handy when cupping and cutting and chopping. Um, I do I use them all the time. And then we have the vegetable peeler for peeling potatoes or cucumbers, and then the shredder if they're trying to prep some cheese or grate some zucchini. And all of these items fit into the bowl, and you throw in a nice ornament again, or if you have a ribbon at home already, you've got a nice gift set for your sous chef or the vegetable prepper or just your little kitchen helper. But what a wonderful gift this makes, and it didn't even cost a lot of money. I mean, you've only spent $7, or if you use the ornament, you've spent $8. Use an ornament from home, keep it at seven. Number three, along those lines, we've got a baker's uh, gift set. These are all the essential tools. Well, some of the essential tools using for baking because there's so many that you can have. If you go up and down that aisle, there's spatulas, there's, um, there's the whisk, for example. There's the bowl, the whisk, the spatula. We have another spatula. That's a two-sided, a smaller one and a larger one. And then we've got the traditional standard size spatula. Here we have um, a basting brush, and you can also use this for preparing pastries and putting on simple syrups, the measuring cups and the measuring spoons. And then I threw in here a measuring cup for liquids. Um, that's coming. I'm try trying to do this with one hand was a little bit difficult. So my arm was getting tired, but there's the measuring cup for liquids. And then inside of that is a timer as well as some pot holders <laughs> and then the ornament. So I had to pull back and put it together, but I wanted you guys to see the uh, ingredients that I had in there. And then this is when I pulled back and stuck it in there all pretty. And if you're gonna be doing this at home, you want to use something to put in the bottom of the bowl to tie it all together. And look at that cute little ornament on the front. Isn't that cute? That just, it's such a simple little thing. And that is only $11. If you add the ornament, it's $12. So great deal. And these are all things that a baker in your life would use for sure. All these things are needed when you're trying to put together a nice little sweet dessert. So, and I think any baker would love it. And you could also, this gift, because there's so much, you can add in an additional oven mitt if you didn't want the pot holders, that cake decoration kit. I mean, it's endless. Let's move on to number four. If there's somebody in your life who's always ready to eat, like my daughter, Jenea, I thought this would be funny to get her a place set setting. Um with spaghetti, a pack of spaghetti noodles, a can of pasta sauce, meat flavored by Hunt, 
and some grated Parmesan cheese with a cornbread muffin and then you throw in a little mug and some utensils. Now the utensils you could probably have a set already at home and you wouldn't have to pay for them but they do sell them at the Dollar Tree. They're two per pack and they're a dollar each so this gift could either be seven dollars or ten dollars if you added in the utensils and i thought that this was a cute little gift for a bachelor somebody just getting their first place and eating off a paper plate or somebody who just always likes to eat and is ready to eat you can have their little special place setting at your home for them when they come by so um and then here i'm showing the different ornaments that again you can throw on there and tie it all together so i'm going to pull back and then put everything together so you can see the final presentation and it looks something like this and i'm pulling up the parmesan cheese because just if you have something in that mug to lift it and elevate it it would just change the whole look of it but i thought this was a cute um different idea something you don't see every day and there it is with the bell which um, I like the bell. The poinsettia I don't like as much, but, you know, somebody might like it. All right, moving on to gift number five. This is a super cheesy gift set, literally. It's the Velveeta cheese sauce. It's the deluxe shells and cheese. It's the mac and cheese deluxe. And then this was the inspiration for this basket, or the Bear Creek grown-up cheeses that they had just brought out with all the different flavors. So I thought this would make a fun, cute little idea for someone who loves cheese or loves mac and cheese so then you throw the bowl on there and then you use that container that also is handy for either the cabinet or the refrigerator and you got yourself a nice gift um, oh here i am showing it with the different ornaments there are tons of cute ornaments this year so i just wanted to show you how much they can just tie it all together if you just drop something in there like that gift number six i call this my mental aerobics gift set for somebody who's elderly or some youngster who you want to keep occupied but productive, you know, we started off with a picture frame and then the Sudoku book to keep their mental mathematics going on. The I Love You Adult Coloring book, you throw in a good book on there and some word finds. Then we've got the markers to go with the adult coloring book and that's what the picture frame is for. So if they color something, they can put it in the picture frame. Then you throw in two puzzles on there and then you have someone who mentally is always going to be um, busy and productive doing something positive and keeping that brain working in a good way. And then you throw on a ribbon ornament or a ribbon that you might already have. And how much is this one going for? Um, $8 or $9 with the ribbon. And you can stack this as high as you like it or you can take some of those things off and make it cheaper. But I thought this would be a great gift to have for someone who gets bored easily. And also I threw in this easel so they can put their picture frame on the easel if they didn't want to hang it on the wall or just hang it from the display or in case it broke. Gift number seven, for somebody who loves to write journalists in your life or they like to write poems, jot down their memories, um, this is a cute gift. Mostly I'm thinking of like a teen girl with a set of ink pens, the clipboard, and then a set of pencils. And because I couldn't find one of those decorative clipboards, I got these stickers that also added to it because they could take the stickers and decorate the clipboard since it was one of the plain brown ones. But if you could find one of those colorful clipboards that they have, then I would have used that one. But because they didn't have it in the store, I says, well, let's throw some stickers in here to decorate the clipboard. But this gift only runs you uh, $5, and if you use an ornament on top of it, it'll run you just $6. Or you could add even more to it, because that's the thing about the Dollar Tree. They've got so many little things that you can just keep adding on top of this. You could have put in some gel pens, some erasers, a, a stack of erasers. And then if it was a boy or a tomboy, they've got those little sports stickers right there. And then again, you throw the ornament on top. Or if you have ribbons already that you have at home, you can use that or even old ornaments at home that you just don't want anymore. This will be a perfect way to get rid of them to add to the gift and make it also another element of the gift. Gift number eight here is for them mistletoes. We're going to start off with a little foot rug or it's not a, that's not a towel. That's like for your feet to sit on, but it's kind of thin. We need some foot silk, some socks. 
and the little kit uh, that has the file and the nail clipper and whatnot. And I needed something to put this in. I wasn't quite sure. And then I thought, oh, I will get this bucket because this bucket, you could at least soak one foot at a time. And sometimes it's better to do that. So that way you don't have as much water. It's not as heavy to, to tote around. And then you can soak one and still have some mobility in case the phone rings or something but we start off with a little foot rug we put in the foot soak and we put in a couple of those cosmetic bags to hold those little items the nail clipper and such that comes in that little kit and then a pair of socks now color coordinated in this store they didn't have exactly all the colors i wanted but look at how nice that looks when you throw that ornament on there or that gift wrap bowl that just pulls it all together and really says Christmas and really looks like a lot more than what this basket costs. $6 or $7 with the ornament. Now, let's say you have somebody in your life on gift number nine who just needs more sleep in their life. I'm that person sometimes. So we're going to start off with that little wire container, which could be used for multiple things. We put in a shower cap because that shower cap is fabric lined. And then we use those cosmetic bags again because they match and you could also use them to, to hold things, um, just various beauty type things. We put the, uh, what do you call that? The eye mask in there and then the socks and then we have some vitamins with melatonin in to help sleep and then we also added a sleep aid and that if that is not the cutest little basket and this one kind of matched pretty well this isn't the right color bow to put on there but i just wanted to show you again you throw a little ornament i would use something red with holly and let some of the green and red pop off of that and that would be a nice little gift for seven dollars or eight dollars if you use an ornament now this last gift I wanted to have fun with. This is gift number 10 and I call it my basket of peace or my gift of peace. This gift is to give you some peace of mind. We're going to start off with a nice big bowl that could be used for an ice bowl or a punch bowl. And then we throw in a microfiber cloth, a nice white one. And to that we're adding in a lovely wine glass. These are very well made wine glasses. And because the Dollar Tree doesn't sell wine, I threw in this bottle of sparkling water to you know, sit in for wine. So when you see that, just think of wine. You want a pregnancy test if you have a girl, you want a drug test if you have a girl or a boy to let them know that you are testing. And if they're driving you crazy, you don't want to get uh, a migraine headache. So we're going to throw in some Excedrin migraine just in case. And if you get to the level of I'm getting a migraine and you're at the tension stage, then we throw in a bottle of tension headache pills. Now, I know these guys are driving you crazy if you're at this point and you can't sleep at night. So we're going to put in a sleep aid to at least help you get rest before you have to go to work. And if they're hanging out and you want them to be home by curfew, then just go ahead and fix them a little drink and throw a laxative or two in it. And I guarantee you they won't be hanging out all night because they got to come home and poop. Now, if you don't want to go through this anymore, I'm going to throw in an ovulation predictor so you don't have any more of these little rascals to drive you crazy. <laughs> and with that, um, we're going to close it all off with this ornament of peace. I thought this was really fun and really cute, and I really had fun doing this. And people walking, and here's the final uh, presentation, by the way. And people were walking by, looking at me, pulling out all of these things. And they were, I'm sure, they. I have no idea what they were thinking, but I can only imagine. Like, why is she pulling out all this stuff and giving it as a gift? But this was really just for fun. Um, but you never know. In times of holidays, you throw in a nice bowl and, you know, make it look festive. Somebody might be able to use this basket. <laughs> you never know. But, I, again, I was just being silly and just wanted to kind of end this video with a nice little laugh and to wish you guys a happy holiday season. And hopefully you saw some great ideas uh, in this video. And be safe.